catastrophic flooding has taken over Georgia. A major amount of rainfall has come down over Georgia and it's flooded so much and they have more coming. Intense rain and hail came over Texas knocking out lots of power. And we're talking about major winds and a lot of hail, a lot of lightning, a lot of power outages. And I had to show you this. Look at this amazing picture that was taken over the weekend in Texas. Wow. And the power outages are adding up for California, Arizona, and Texas. Texas at 53,000 people still without power. 27,000 in Arizona, 18,000 in California. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to you. Happy Labor Day to all of you. Now, we have a very extreme setup coming, and I hope y'all heeded my warning over a week ago because it's still happening. Matter of fact, it's gotten worse. So everything that's happening over to southeast, northeast, northeast is getting it today. Georgia has more flooding coming their way. So please share this information. Help warn them of what's coming. Hopefully, they heeded the earlier warning. Hopefully, they listen now to this warning. Initial setup is going to be a big high pressure parking over the west, bringing all the hot temperatures while we stay in this positive pattern, bringing these cool fronts to the southeast, and we're going to have this upper level low right over the south, just bringing all this gulf moisture, and it's still going to carry it all over to southeast and the northeast for more flooding coming. You can see the initial setup here, a lot of precipitation coming, especially with K. But when you look over the states, you can see how all this is just training from the southeast to the northeast as that high pressure sets up. And then we got a big system coming in for the upper Midwest and Ohio Valley at the end of this. So this is gonna be the steady pattern for a few days, possibly a week. You also can see when you look at your upper levels to your troposphere that after all this happens, upper level low brings all this moisture. We still got a bomb of a system coming over and it, according to the Euro, will stall and spin for quite some time. And this is gonna steady bring precipitation and moisture with it as it just sits there and spins. And you can see this better on your 500 millibar vorticity as you have Hurricane Kate going towards Baja, and you have these upper level lows coming to the south and southeast, and it's just carrying all this moisture. Remember, those are going counterclockwise, just pulling all this moisture up to the southeast and the northeast, and it's going to sit there. Then as K leaves, potentially going by San Diego with some winds, potentially, we have this big system coming in around the 10th, and it's just going to sit there and gain strength bringing 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. I will update you on the winds later. Let's get a little closer look, but it is going to sit there for a few days and just spin, bringing more precipitation to the East Coast. Now, so far, according to the Euro, Hurricane K will bring 80 miles per hour, even up to 90 miles per hour wind gusts towards Baja as it curves out to the west. But GFS is taking it a little bit stronger, up to 100 miles per hour wind gusts a little over, and it's taking it pretty close towards San Diego, California. But you can see according to National Hurricane Center, it is predicted to be a hurricane. It's not bringing it up to a major hurricane. As it curves to the west, it's supposed to be weakening to a tropical storm. Now, when you look just for the next five days for your wind gusts, this is according to the Euro, and this is a zoomable link. All these links are in the description for you to go see for yourself so you can zoom into your area and see what is going on. Euro is shown it's not going too far. GFS shown it could go a little closer bringing maybe 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts up towards San Diego as it turns west. So that is a possibility. Not to mention a lot of serious winds that is going to be affecting a lot of people over here. So if you know somebody over here, please share this information. Let them know to prepare for these winds that are coming. And Tropical Storm Earl is predicted to be a hurricane still curving by Bermuda, not bringing much winds, maybe some Tropical Storm Force winds. That's up to 39 miles per hour winds. They could get up to 50. You have about a 60% chance of that. But when you look at the temperatures and see the initial setup, you can see this big high pressure building right over the West Coast, bringing all this heat. We're in this positive pattern where it's a big high ridge, a deep trough, bringing the cooler weathers towards the center to the east coast of the U.S. And it is bringing some cool air, and it is not really freezing, but it's bringing some cool air coming down all the way from the 10th all the way to when that system bombs on in. This is going to pull down on the west side of it, cold temperatures down in the 50s, not super far to the south, but you will feel some 50s overnight temperatures. Still, it's always remained 40s to 50s, and it will be moving out the northeast while you still have all this heat 
over here on the west coast. And so far it's bringing some very hot temperatures, all the way up to 118 degrees, especially for the higher elevations for California. But the whole southwest is going to feel all this heat that's brewing in from this big high pressure just sitting there for the next few days. Now this heat will shift over to the upper Midwest before this cool front comes down. And this cold front is not a nasty cold front, but it is bringing some 50s, even the high 40s to some people in the higher elevations. That's about it. But from the 10th on, it is bringing the 50s to the upper Midwest. It will reach over towards the central US and Ohio Valley while you go to the 11th. And it will move a little bit further to the east, but weakening as it goes. It's not bringing a whole bunch. This is by Monday on the 12th. But you can see for the east coast, it's not bringing a lot of cool temperatures for y'all. A little bit on the northeast, not much. It's just bringing a little bit of cooler temperatures. All the cooler air is going to be coming from the northwest when you have a La Nina winter. Usually your colder air and your snowfall comes from the northwest first. And I'm still showing Montana and Idaho will be getting that snowfall first. But this is bringing some cooler temperatures for y'all overnight, cooling y'all down. But you still have all this flooding that's going to be going on in the southeast and the northeast. The northeast is getting it first. So as you look at the precipitation add up, and you can already see a big heavy spot for Georgia. They just really got doused with a lot of rainfall. But you look in the northeast and you literally see within the next 48 hours, they're going to be getting a lot of rainfall coming down to them. And then it's going to train even more precipitation as this next setup comes into play. Upper level low brings more rainfall to the southeast, also to the northeast. So this pattern is going to repeat and continue. And you can see this on the setup with National Weather Service. As you go through noon today, you have lots of storms training over towards the northeast. As you keep on going late this afternoon, it's going to be even more overnight still getting it for the northeast early in the morning still getting it for the northeast for tomorrow it's going to still be there as you go through tomorrow late afternoon it's still going to be there lightening up so you have a lot of flash flooding coming your way then it's going to add up for the south and the southeast after that so by thursday prepare for this rain to come back to y'all georgia back to the southeast bringing heavy rainfall for a day and a half almost two days for y'all, a lot of rainfall coming. Now, so far with National Weather Service, the next 24 hours is gonna start building up for Pennsylvania, New York, New England states. But once you go 36 to 48 hours, then it all really adds up to a lot of rainfall for everybody in the Northeast. And this is gonna train the same direction over and over. So it will be some flash flooding. Please be careful. And it's not just me saying this. You can see this with National Weather Service the next two days. A lot of rainfall in the northeast and it's all that red is all up to three, possibly four inches of rainfall. As you go three days, it's going to go out to the northeast and the Atlantic. But once you go five days, then you got this precipitation coming back while they're getting hit with Hurricane K. And it's going to add up in the next seven days, more catastrophic flooding coming your way. And look at this for the panhandle of Florida, all that orange and that little bit of brown is anywhere from five to ten inches of rainfall. There's a lot more rainfall coming, especially for Georgia as well. Please prepare for this. Now, National Weather Service did put out a big flash flooding watch for y'all. A big marginal in this green for today. A big yellow all the way from Georgia all the way to the northeast. And a moderate risk for Pennsylvania and parts of New York. For tomorrow, it's going to stick around in this same pattern. This pattern is going to be around for a week. And you have slight risk for tomorrow as well and for Kentucky. So Kentucky, you need to watch out for this rainfall. As you go towards Wednesday and Thursday, it's going to mile down, but any rainfall would automatically put you in a flash flooding stage once again. And as you go into next Friday, going into Saturday, here it comes for the southeast all over again, and this will carry into the northeast after this. So you have a big slight risk coming with all this heavy rainfall. A lot of flooding coming. I hope you are listening. Please prepare for this. And when you go to the models and see what they're saying about this rainfall rates, you can see in the next 10 days, a lot of rainfall adding up. This is according to the Euro. GFS is seeing about the same thing. Now GFS sees a little bit further and it shows that we have some more Caribbean precipitation, some more tropical waves coming through, bringing more possible rainfall to the Southeast after that. And that's too far to be sure, but it is trending on all the models that the next 10 days, the Canadian as well, 
a lot of rainfall coming y'all way. I got this so you can see the rainfall all coming all day long, all day long for tomorrow. I got it on NAND 3K. It overdoes it a little bit, but you can see the pattern over the next two and a half days of all these storms training. It will be a lot. So God bless you all. Keep you all safe. I really pray y'all heed the warning on this. I pray y'all did it on the last one. From what I can see is a lot of people got really in a bad situation. So please share this information. Don't let people get caught off guard. Psalm 112. Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is a man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established. He shall not be afraid until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed. He hath given to the poor. His righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. He shall gnash with his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Amen. God bless you all and your families. Keep you all safe on what they're all going through. I do pray y'all will be okay. Please watch out for power outages in the Northeast today. It will be happening. In Georgia, please prepare. You got more coming. All glory does go to God, Yahweh, our Father. He will keep you safe. Pray to him. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you all.